Okay, first of all, so close, but still not successful. Give us an idea what you think might have gone wrong and why this is so hard to do. Well, people have been trying to uh, take advantage of the reusability of uh, rockets for decades, and I think this is so incredibly close. We're just going to be able to probably see this happen in one of the next couple of launches. I can't speculate any more than Elon has. They're looking for more data to come back. The fact that now twice in a row, within a couple of months, they've found the uh, drone ship and been able to, the barge, and been able to land on it too hard for survival um, is uh, still a huge success. And let's not forget that the rocket itself has launched successfully, is going to be docking with the International Space Station on Friday. Well, in, in case anyone's worried about Elon Musk, he, he also tweeted, if this works, I'm treating myself to a volcano lair. It's time. So he's going to keep trying, Corey, no matter what. Yeah, um, ne next time I trip and fall, remind me about my excess lateral velocity. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll blame it on that instead of a You can go crawl into your volcano lair. Exactly. Um, uh, and they're great. I, everyone out there should get a volcano a lair. A little hot. Can. Um, dress appropriately. You know, you'll get, you'll get accustomed to the heat. It's, it's a dry <laughs> heat. Um, I, look, I, you know, for all of, of the, the criticism we give of Tesla and their financials and the things Elon Musk has done on the financial side, this is enormously ambitious. Uh, and, and it's very important for the government in particular to have a U.S.-based space company because with NASA out of the game, there are, are uh, enormous payloads of military and, and spy satellites and things. They can't, don't have anywhere to go and they don't have anywhere to get into space. So it's really important for the, this country to have this in as much as this country is important for this country to have those kinds of spying capacities and military capacities where they can't trust a, a rocket launch by foreign governments and so on. Lori, what kind of oversight is necessary to make sure what SpaceX and Elon is doing is actually safe? Well, I would uh, say that this is very similar to how we have been going into space for years. I take issue a little bit with the NASA out of the game. NASA's not out of the game. They're in the game. Five years ago, President Obama stood at the Kennedy Space Center and outlined this new way of partnering with the private sector to advance space transportation, similar to how we have advanced transportation in all other uh, ways. We would be spending much too much money uh, and no one would be going if we threw away the engines in an airplane every time we flew and we can't be doing that uh, in the space transportation either. The government has been utilizing the private sector to launch its satellites, yes, even those very, very important military satellites as well as our scientific payloads uh, for decades. The space shuttle that was retired a few years ago was three to four billion dollars a year. It helped us develop the International Space Station. And now being able to get there with the private sector for pennies on the dollar is the right path. And of course, these vehicles, as well as competitor vehicles, will be carrying people to and from the good old USA shores here in just a couple of years. Lori, give us a better idea of what Elon Musk is grappling with here. What kind of technology is necessary not just to land the rocket safely, but also to make it reusable and save that money? Well, again, reusability has been a holy grail. We know that's what it takes to reduce uh, the cost permanently and have a sustained space activities that will take more people and things uh, to orbit. And we at NASA had been working on it more than 15 years ago with a um, different vehicle called the X-33. It was going to lead to a fully reusable vehicle. And the investments were just too high because the technologies involved in materials, in propulsion, were not yet advanced enough. But truly, the private sector, and Elon specifically through SpaceX, is innovating to do this on a ship uh, in the ocean because they can't get the capability to um, get licenses to land uh, on land. And this is a great innovation. So, of course, we reused the space shuttle engines. They came back, and we refurbished them to fly again. But the space shuttle took a number of parts, the gas tank, the solid rocket motors, that were expendable. Thus, the costs continued to be too large to really be sustained for these long-term plans that we have in space. So if indeed this is going to happen, you think it's only a matter of time, how much time? Well, I would bet that within the next year, Elon will have landed, SpaceX will have landed successfully. Um, so starting that reusability, they've got six launches now. They're in on a 12-launch contract 
for, to the space station. And I think people will be going on Dragons and their competitor vehicle with Boeing here in the next two and a half to three years.